to the business that we've seen take place on a deadline day. Enzo Fernandez, the big one, of course, is yet to be confirmed by Chelsea, but all indications are that he will be heading to Stamford Bridge. Jorginho is done. He is going from Chelsea just across the road to Arsenal. Hakim Zayek, meanwhile, Chelsea to PSG. That's yet to be confirmed. That's thought to be a loan deal. Savica from Bayern to Manchester United. That one surprised us, of course, today. That's yet to be confirmed elsewhere. Spurs got their man in the end. Pedro Porro making that move from Sporting. And as we reported yesterday, Jao Cancelo is going from Manchester City to Bayern Munich for a loan spell till the end of the season. Uh, let's welcome in, shall we? Uh, Gab Marcotti is with us, as is uh, Julian Laurent. Uh, we got to start with Enzo Fernandez, Gab. What a big, big signing that is, certainly financially. It's a huge signing. I mean, whenever you're, you're dealing with a release clause, um, I think he's the most expensive midfielder in history. He's the most expensive uh, player in the history of the Premier League. Uh, so I think instantly lays down, I think, a massive, massive... Uh, it's not an enormous body of work. Six months at, at Benfica. Before that, I think he had games at, at River and at the World Cup. But uh, evidently, in that time, He's shown that he can be a, a difference maker uh, in the Champions League uh, as well, as well for a Benfica team that, that, that were flying. And um, Chelsea rolled the dice, locked him up through 2031, I believe. Another, uh, what, eight and a half year contract. Uh, Jules, I think it's fair to say that no other club in the world would have paid this figure for him. Yes, I guess you're right because Chelsea were the only one really negotiating with Benfica who really wanted to keep Enzo and his Enzo pushed and put them under pressure for them to accept the, uh, the Chelsea offer, which is the full release clause, 120 million euros, like Gab was saying. I think the fear for Chelsea was had they waited for the summer that maybe then other clubs would have joined, would have joined the race. And then if you suddenly you find yourself from being the only one trying to make that deal to being there with Real Madrid and with Manchester City and with PSG and with maybe a few others, then it becomes more difficult. So they wanted to do that deal now. They, they knew they had to strengthen in midfield because they were, they were, they were average in midfield. They needed more better players, which, which they got with Enzo, of course. And they wanted younger players as well, which they got. He's only 22. He's got the future ahead of him. He's an incredible talent, whether you agree with the fee or not. It doesn't matter so much. He's just a wonderful talent that will add a lot to that team. Uh, what's striking about the story, obviously, that he just joined Benfica in the summer for 14 million and now he's going for this club record, Stevie. How much of a risk is this from a Chelsea perspective? Uh, it's, <clears throat> it's a risk because you're paying 120 million. If you're paying 60 million for him, it's not such a big risk because of the body of work that he has. Yes, it's, it's in a World Cup, but you know, you're 120 million, I'm looking, I'm looking for a lot of goals. I'm looking for a guy who's box to box. I'm looking for a guy who's doing both. I'm, lo I'm looking for a guy who's doing everything, by the way, for 120 million. <laughs> so, as, as far as the future, yes. Um, common sense would say he's going to get better. But again, I'm saying that, but for 120 million, you, you, you want to know exactly what you're getting. Right. I don't think you can. T anybody can turn around after six months pretty much at the top that you know you're, what you're getting for the next 10 years. I, d I just don't think you do. It's an incredible rise. It, it, it really is. I mean, if you're Benfica, you haven't paid what you did, and all of a sudden you, you get this PD if you're Angel Fernandez, and, and you have a contract at a club like Chelsea and what they're paying for the next eight seasons. Um, you, you take it every single time. It just doesn't make for bowling sense, as, as, we, as we've been discussing. And as far as the fee being, being a gamble, uh, I, I'm with TV. 120 million for, for a midfielder, regardless of how, how, we, how we slice or dice this, it's, it's a gamble. If you pay 120 million for a striker, you expect 30, 35 goals a season. I'm not sure you're getting that from Enzo Fernandez um, I, I, as a midfielder. So you, you cannot... You cannot see this as anything other than a, a, a gamble that only a club like, like Chelsea would take. Sydney right now. Don, what do you like about him? He's a player. Don't get me wrong, Dan. I think he's, he, he can do the lot. He's, he's a typical number eight. Um, he can play, he can sit, he knows the game. Um, I mean, Shaka said there, 
He's not sure he'll get 30 goals a season. I'll tell you now, he'll be nowhere near 30 goals a season. So God knows what the likes of Victor Osterman and Harry Kane are worth. The lads had to stick it in the back of the net for fun. But in terms of the player, 22, um, he works hard. He likes it. He basically does everything, Dan. He does everything you'd want as a number eight. He's not just a defensive midfield player. He can get goals. He can get assists. He's got an eye for a pass. He drifts into different areas, but he's also very disciplined at the same time. And I think for someone like Graham Potter, he's definitely a player that you would build your side around for obvious reasons. You cost that amount of money. The talent is there. It's just whether you're going to get, it's whether you're going to get the finished article and what you see. And listen, it's not my money. I don't care. But I've been tweeting about Caicedo in the last couple of days, and it's almost like the Premier League teams now are just going bonkers with their money. The valuations: eighty million pound, one hundred and twenty million pound. There's so many of these players out there in Europe if you want to scout them and take your time. So to go from £10 million from River Plate to Benfica, then over 100 in six or seven months, tells me that Chelsea have massively overpaid. Uh, Jules, how does he fit into this starting eleven, in your opinion? Oh, well, it's interesting because it's clearly a work in progress under Graham Potter. We've seen, you know, through the whole season that we're not really sure exactly what the idea is and what Graham Potter is trying to do with this team. However, he's got loads of new players now, loads of new signings that he can integrate in his team. What we've seen at Benfica certainly with, with Enzo is that Florentino Luis was playing next to him in a double pivot. Florentino Luis was a more defensive-minded midfielder who is also tough, who he just likes the fight with and letting almost Enzo to do the creativity, the progressive, pa progressive passing, sorry, progressive carries of the ball as well, which is that he's been excellent in Portugal all through the first half of the season. Is there a player like that right now in the Chelsea squads? I'm not so sure. I would say that maybe Zakaria is the best complement of Enzo in this team. You can play Enzo and Kovacic and asking Enzo to sit a little bit more, but you would lose a bit of what makes him special, I think. So, Graham Potter will have to find the right formula. I would think that now, if it's taken them three weeks, that in those three weeks' time, Graham Potter had plenty of time, him and his staff, to work out already, OK, we're getting this duel now. This is how he's played before. All the stars, they've got everything. I would be surprised if they don't already have a plan for him. Otherwise, it would be bonkers. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+.